Ngayon ating balikan ang post ni Sir Nesty Boy Valenzuela dito sa Philippines Civil Service Review for All. Uh, tapos na tayo yung first part, 1 to 5. Yung second part naman ay 6 to 8. At sa video ito, number 9 at number 10 naman ang sagutan natin. Fractions, word problems. Ngayon para sa mga bago pa sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin na huwag na kayong mag- Message dyan. Tambak na yan ang mga messages. Kung mayroong kayong concern dito na lang sa Lunalin Vlog or Free Reviewers Managed by Lunalin na FB Pages. Sa mga naghahanap ng mga libreng printable na reviewers, punta kayo sa files na FB group na ito, Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Yung detalye kung paano makadownload, ilalagay ko yung link sa description ng video ito. At ito naman yung iba pang mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan. Now, let's read the problem. John cuts up a rope so that he has 25 pieces of 6 and 1 fifth cm long each. Merong 25 pieces na 6 and 1 fifth cm. What was the original length of the rope? 25 of... 6 and 1 fifth ang of multiplication. Kopyahin natin si 25. Itong 6 and 1 fifth, gawin natin improper fraction. 5 times 6, 30. Plus 1, 31. In other words, itong 6 and 1 fifth ay pariho lang sa 31 over 5. Now, sa pag-multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator, Lahat ng mga whole numbers mayroon yung automatic na 1 as denominator. Ngayon, para mas madali, pwede naman ganito. 25 divided by 5 and that is 5. 5 times 31 and this is 155. So, ang sagot dito ay letter A. 155. Next, number 10. A conference room is... 6 over 7 full. After 18 participants left, the conference room is 6 over 14 full. Find the seating capacity of the room. Napapansin nyo ba na wala itong pinagkaiba sa tank problem natin? Number 7 yata yun. Doon muna tayo sa kanto style way of solving. So mag-count muna tayo. 1, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7. The conference room is 6 over 7 full. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ito yung 6 over 7. 6 over 7 full. Next. After 18 participants left, the conference room is 6 over 14. Paano ba yan yung 6 over 14? Yung 6 over 14, pwede man natin yung i-list. I-divide natin ang 2 or yung greatest common factor naman dito ay 2. 6 divided by 2 and that is 3. 14 divided by 2 and that is 7. So maganda. Kasi yung hati nito ay 7 naman yung denominator. So, yung 3 over 7, yan yung equal lang sa 6 over 14. After nitong 18 particip participants left, the conference room is now 6, and four, 6 over 14 full or 3 over 7. 1, 2, 3. Ito yung 3 over 7. So, therefore, ito yung equivalent sa 18 participants. So, ngayon yung 18 participants na yan, tatlo yan. So, hatiin natin sa tatlo itong 18. 18 divided by 3. And this is 6. So, therefore, yung kada box dito ay 6. 6 ang kada box na nandito. Count natin ilang 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
find the seating capacity of the room. So, 6 times 7 equals 42. So, ang sagot dito, 42. Now, another way. Doon tayo sa isang pinaka simple. 6 over 7. Minus ta, minusan natin ng 6 over 14. Si 6 over 14, malis natin yan, which is yung ginawa natin na 3 over 7. Now, pwede na natin siyang, i-deduct lang natin yan. Kopyahin si 7, ang numerator natin. 6 minus 3, and that is 3. Itong 3 over 7, yan yung 18 participants. 18 is 3 over 7 of the full capacity sa room. So, let F for the full capacity sa mismo, yung sitting capacity sa room. Kopyahin si 18. Ang is equal yan siya. Kopyahin si 3 over 7. Ang of multiplication, kopyahin si F. Since si 3 over 7 pang multiply sa F, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 18. Dito natin ilagay. So, that will be 18 divided by 3 over 7 equals F. Multiplication of fraction. Kopyahin lang si 18. Ang division maging multiplication. Ito, reciprocal niya ay 7 over 3. Para simple lang, imbes na 18 times 7 divided by 3, mas magandang gawin ganito. 18 divided by 3 and that is 6. 6 times 7, that is 42. So therefore, ang tamang sagot dito, 42. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong natutunan sa mga videos natin. Thank you and God bless.